Now, do you remember Mr. Harris, Ben Harris? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he used to always do a show called Happening. Remember right, he right, Happening, 68, right. 69? And uh, I see him in the hall every day, and he, we, we lament about, gee, remember we used to just go and do those shows? I mean, it was practically very little preparation involved because the kids were so talented and so many different kind of acts going up there, you know, and the Shapiros are here and those type of kids. You say, you come in on a Monday, you say, guess what, we're going to do a show on Wednesday. You say, okay. And that was it. You know, we're going to do this, we're going to yeah. do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Okay. I mean, now you have to rehearse kids to death <laughs> just to get one little thing done. And the talent that was in the classes at that time was, uh, I mean, probably didn't appreciate it. I maybe didn't appreciate it at the time, how quick the kids were and uh, what, what talent that they could uh, put up on the stage. And they always liked to perform. They always liked to be up and, and performing somewhere. You know? And I think a lot of people had that where they were able to create things and, and grow and build at a very young age because they had this, this special type of maturity that maybe it was part of the times, I don't know, took part of that time, but it was, uh, the class was unique in my opinion because of that creative force that was within them. You had a lot of creativity. There was really a lot of maturity in the class, I felt. I mean, Floyd Vivino is a good example of maturity. Uh, he knew where he wanted to go right from the very beginning, and he, he went there. Eddie Kirk here, and Ray Conniff Jubilee coming up in just a few moments. I call it a Jubilee, actually it's a Ray Conniff featurette. Three, maybe four, back-to-back -back Ray Conniff classic. My start as an entertainer did really start at, at Glen Rock High School. I had the lowest, in all respect to whoever is doing it now, the lowest possible uh, position you can have in the artistic end of, of, of the arts or performing. I was the cymbal player in the marching band. This was a, not a, a by choice thing. I did not seek to do this. Uh, being a piano player, obviously we couldn't play the piano, but I was the cymbal player. What happened was there was a, a we were, there were, demonstrations were quite big while I was in high school, and we had a demonstration that they did not give us enough time to eat lunch in the cafeteria. We had 23 minutes for lunch, and I was one of the five students who organized a rally to have everybody buy lunch on one particular day, which meant that approximately only 35 percent of the students could possibly be fed uh, through the lunch line. Everyone was to take their time, and I got caught. So the principal at the time says, well, you can serve uh, 13 weeks of detention, or you can go see Mr. Silsky. So I says, well, why do I go see Mr. Silsky, the band leader? And I walked in and Mr. Silsky says, yeah, you can either have 13 weeks of, play, of detention or you can do the, uh, the football season with the mar as the, in the marching band with the cymbals. So I would play, um, I'll give you my solo, I'll, I'll go like this. Yeah. like that was a song, I forget the words. Glen Rock, oh Glen Rock High, we love you so. Three cheers for Glen Rock, crash. Dun, 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 dun. From there I went to TV. I remember a trumpet player I had once, his name was Doug. Ruberl? Ruberl. Yeah. Was he in your class? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, well here's a story. I remember, here's a guy, he was a funny kind of guy. And uh, he, he came in one day, and uh, his trumpet was play painted red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. And I didn't say a word. I didn't say a thing. I you know, painted it different colors. <laughs> so after, after class is over, he says, uh, hey, uh, he says, you notice anything uh, different today? <laughs> I said, no, Doug. I said, uh, you sounded pretty good today, whatever, you know. You didn't say anything different, huh? I said, no. Nope. <laughs> Next day he came in, everything was washed off, yeah. <laughs> everything back to normal again. But I never forget, he came in with red, white, and put together the case, you know, expected something really great to happen, mm -hmm. and it didn't happen. You know.